hello and welcome back to my channel so this video in particular is special because we are sharing the screen with daniel what is going on guys my name is daniel i'm from germany and today i'll show you my beautiful city frankfurt so what we are doing is that on the split screen he is going to be showing us his market area and on my screen i'm going to be showing you mine and we are in sarojini nagar at 5:33 so let's begin the walk and i hope you enjoy both the countries collaborating So, before we hit the biggest shopping street in my city, uh, we go to the metro first. The metro network here in Frankfurt is very good. Yeah, um, yeah. You basically can get everywhere you want. I'm a student. I can get everywhere pretty cheap because we have student discounts here. Um, yeah. And right now we are heading to the station called Hauptwache. It's very famous in Germany, but people, the Germans will know. so much there are so many options and everything's so cool like everything's super trendy and whatever that's in right now so yeah we're all crazy about it 
and it's cheap, extremely cheap. So, this is the biggest shopping street I talked about. It's called Seil. Uh, yeah, you can basically get whatever you want here. Uh, yeah, electronics, fashion, food, basically everything. Like you can see during the day, it's quite crowded. Um, right now we are, we are in the afternoon, so yeah, you can see street musicians and all kinds of people strolling around. How is it going for you, Daniel? I'm very good. Thanks a lot for asking, Shivani. I'm just enjoying my time here, showing you around the city. Uh, yeah, but how's your day going so far? Well, it's been going pretty well for me as well. We are going to be exploring Connaught Place. will be the town hall it's not that far away it's also quite famous here or a big site here in Frankfurt so we check that out and of course Germany is a country known for its cars like uh, like the BMW here Mercedes I don't know if that's pronounced correctly in English but you get the point um, and yeah the Germans they like cars This is a gun store, but don't be fooled, fooled by it. It's not, these are not real guns. In Germany, guns are not allowed for, for average people to hold. Of course, there are some people that, um, yeah, of course the police and also people that, um, yeah, that do, uh, that do shooting and also people that, uh, and also people that are in a shooting club that do this uh, as a sport. But apart from that, normal people are not allowed to hold a gun or buy a gun. Come <laughs> on. 
This church here is called Paulskirche. It's quite a big church here. Yeah, very old. Apart from that, I don't have that much to say about it. But yeah, the people know it. Here you can see as well, we don't only have the metro, but also the tram around the cities. And people also get around by bus and by taxis, of course. You can see some taxis over here. Um, yeah. Looks like people love vloggers here. Or they point one out. Okay. Also, what I am doing right now here is for something that you should check out on Daniel's channel. I will talk about it soon, but yes, check out his channel to know why we are actually in Saroji Nagar market today. Okay. Um, Frankfurt itself is also quite international, so you can hear a lot of English voices as well. Um, yeah, I think it's because Frankfurt is a very yeah has a big business district. A lot of people coming here to work. Um, yeah, it's basically with London. I think it's the financial center of Europe here. Um, yeah, that's why you hear a lot of English voices. And now we are on a very famous square. It's called Römerplatz. We have the Römer here. This building is called the Römer. It is the town hall of Frankfurt, actually. Um, yeah. And uh, for example, the local football team here, Eintracht Frankfurt. If they if they win a title, they will celebrate up here. People are uh, yeah. People are quite connected to the club. It's uh, it's a very big thing here. And in general, football is a very big sport in Germany. And here in Frankfurt, the, most of the people are very, very connected to the to the local club, to Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, the fans are very passionate. Um, yeah, like every weekend, thousands of people go into the stadium, and yeah, just uh, yeah, just want to push the team. Right now, it's actually it's going pretty well. Um, in the league, not that well, but Frankfurt even played European football the Champions League um, so this is the biggest yeah, the biggest competition um, or the highest level competition in Europe um, which was quite a big success here for, for, uh, for Frankfurt so next we are heading to the local market here it's not particularly a farmers market a traditional market but rather like a mix between traditional vendors and um, yeah also some yeah kind of modern modern shops um, they basically sell food, wine, all kinds of uh, specialties, international specialties as well. Um, so yeah, we check that out. We're going to be exploring a weekly market on a Friday. So this is Friday market, where you buy fruits and veggies, like you um, fill your stock for the week. So farmers market here, for example, or many uh, farmers markets. For example, uh, on Saturday, very close to the Thai. Um But during the week, this is uh, yeah, this is the choice to go. Yes. 
से हिम So we have all kinds of spices here, for example, also from India, curry. <laughs> we have that here as well. Fruits. And the people can also just sit here and yeah, enjoy their meals that they just bought here. Like I said, a lot of wine as well. And of course, a lot of meat too. This market is open from Monday to Saturday because in Germany the Sunday yeah, is an off day and it's taken pretty seriously by most people. Um, yeah, and basically Sunday everything is closed except, yeah, I don't know, like. Uh, petrol stations and um, some very small shops within the city center but apart from that everything is closed basically the germans love their sunday Here we can also find a small bookshop. This is the city we're in right now, Frankfurt, a mine. Mine is the river. I think the mine is the third biggest river in Germany. Um, yeah, later we will see it as well. And now we are heading to the river that I already talked about, the mine. Um, and there we already end our tour. This is the historic museum of Frankfurt. I've never been inside, but I've only heard good things about it. So if you're here, go check it out. And now we're getting closer to the mine. You can see we have a lot of old buildings here, so yeah, the representatives of the city wanted to keep keep the tradition and keep the, the old house. But as well you can find the only skyline of Germany here in Frankfurt and a lot of yeah, very modern buildings next to the old traditional buildings.
I just talked about the business district here in Germany and the financial center. You can see over there, you can see the European Central Bank. Quite a big institution here that is located in Frankfurt. And with this beautiful skyline view, I'm finishing this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So it's been an interesting collaboration with Daniel and he will tell you like what exactly are we doing in the other video on his channel and you can take it from here, Daniel. If you want to see another video of Shivani and me, you can go check out the video on my channel. We basically switched the daily average income that a person in India and Germany has and lived in the other country with it. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed this interesting collaboration. I had a lot of fun uh, with both the shoots, both the videos. So make sure if you are checking out this one, check out that one. And if you checked out that one already, then you are already here. <laughs> okay, I'll stop trying to be funny. Okay, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. Also, this is something that we got from there. So what happened there? <laughs> so